Hi, this is Ritesh. In this presentation, I would be demonstrating how to disable the auto restart of a CRS resource. Now, every resource that's registered in the CRS would auto restart once you uh, start the CRS. So, let me start the CRS. Okay, now let's look at the CRS stat. The hyphen T gives a tabular display of the CRS statistics. Now as you can see here, all the resources on this particular node have auto restarted uh, when we start the CRS. Now for some reason, uh, we may not want this to happen like in case uh, you're in the middle of some database RDBMS patching and you do not want your listener or your ASM instance or you know the database to bring uh, to start up uh, once you have started the CRS there is a way uh, we can do that now let's say we want to disable the auto start of the listener this particular listener now to do that we need to get the complete name of the listener like you see over here uh, some part of this text is truncated so to get the complete name we do a CRS stat grep lsnr now we are interested in this one so what we do is we do a CRS stat hyphen p and then the resource name. Now what this does is it displays the properties of this listener. Now what we are interested over here is the auto start equals 1. Auto start equals 1 means that the, re, uh, the resource would automatically start once you bring up the CRS what we need to do is to disable it we need to make auto start equals 2 there is another parameter that we need to modify that's restart attempts equals 5 we don't want uh, the CRS to restart to keep attempting to restart it because you're disabling the auto start anyway so basically these are the two resources uh, you know the two parameters that we need to modify for this particular resource so what we do uh, now is we merely dump this crs-p command into a <coughs> um, one of the locations in the uh, CRS home. In CRS home it is under the CRS directory profile and then the resource name this is the resource name dot cap so we are dumping the output of this into this particular file now why this particular file I'll let you know okay now vi this file and we change this two and the restart attempts to zero save it now for us to uh, you know update the changes that we have made we need to execute this command CRS register hyphen u u is to update the uh, the the resource uh, settings whatever we have set it will pick up from this particular file so under the CRS the CRS directory the profile the resource name dot CAP so any changes or values that you have made over here is going to be automatically picked up when you do a CRS register underscore uh, sorry hyphen U so when we do this 
then the values that we had set is going to be reflected over here so let us do a CRS stat hyphen P again and you would see the auto start values have changed to 2 and the restart attempts to 0 so now what I would do is I would stop the CRS and restart it and uh, demonstrate that this this would not auto restart once we start the CRS so CRS CTL stop CRS I bring up the CRS now now let's just check the status of the CRS now as you can see the listener did not auto start so um, that's what we wanted So just to summarize that uh, for any resource that you want to change the auto start properties you just dump the contents of the properties that is CRS stat hyphen P and then the resource name to the CRS home slash CRS slash profile and the resource name dot CAP and then you do a CRS underscore register hyphen U and the resource name and uh, then the properties that you have modified in that file would be picked up um, by these uh, by the resource well that's it that concludes the session I hope this was a useful one